Hi guys and welcome to my makeup collection and declutter video. So today I'm going to be showing you all of my makeup collection, getting rid of anything that I just don't use. So my goal today is to fill up both of these little boxes with things I don't use and without further ado, let's just get off. So I've had the most ridiculous reason for not throwing any of these out and it's just because they all kind of fit and they all look nice and there's no little spaces anywhere but today we're just going to go through it and get rid of some. So let's start kind of here and work our way up. This is a Revolution lipstick that's very old. I literally never use this, so that can go. This is an Essence Matte 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 lipstick. I really like this. It's been used a lot, as you can see, and I'm going to keep this. This I actually used in a video. Uh, this is the Barry M Genie lipstick, and it's like green, but then goes to kind of pink I like that so that's staying this I never reach for but it's the lipstick I wore to prom so it's sentimental so I'm gonna keep this this my mum gave this to me it's so old I think it's Clinique so that can go this is a makeup revolution lipstick this is really really new I've not really used this much so I'm gonna keep this this was one of my like all time favourites. This is NYX in Doll. This is so pretty, I'm going to keep this. And this I got in a glossy box. This is just too dry in for me. What is this? This is the Emco Beauty Flawless. Yeah, it's too dry in for me, so I'm going to get rid of this. So this is a Maybelline lipstick in Pink Fling. I do like this, so I'm going to keep that. This NYX High Voltage lipstick, I don't really reach for it, but it's quite new and I haven't really played around with it, so I'm going to keep that. This, again, is really, really old. This is Rimmel um, Amethyst Shimmer. I literally haven't reached for this in years, so that's going. This I do need to play around with. This is the Twiggy lipstick in Frosty Pink, so it's quite different to what I have. It's really shimmery, so I'm going to keep that. This lipstick I love, this is from the same collection, this is Hollywood Red. This is the lipstick I wore when I played Heather Chandler, so definitely keeping that. And these four here, these are the NYX Butter Glosses, but the colours, I just, I will never ever use any of these, so these can go. All of these lipsticks here, these are the Revlon Matte Lip Colours, these are amazing, so I'm going to keep all of these. And this is the Focalor lipstick, I don't know how to say it. This is in the shade 4 and I like this as well. This is one of my go-to glosses, you know I love glosses. This is the Lorac gloss, so I'm going to keep that. This as well, amazing gloss, this is the Body Shop Strawberry Gloss. Now this I think I'm going to get rid of, this is the Sleek Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. Again. I just, I don't wear liquid lipsticks, they're just too dry in for me, so I'm going to get rid of that. So this lip shot is from the same collection, but it is more creamy, so I'm going to keep this. Oh my god, this, you can see how much I've used this. I love this so much, the Violet Voss Gloss. I'm never getting rid of this. This I got for a look, like, one look, and it was so dry in. The Nip and Fab Matte Liquid Lipstick in... Black Grape, so I'm going to get rid of this. This Sleek sla sh sleek Shattered Glass, that's hard to say. This is so opaque, and it's just, it's not like a nice sheen, it's like BAM! But like, I don't like it, and it tastes kind of like uh, metally, so I'm going to get rid of that. This I love, this is the Love Lacquered Lip Stain. It's the red shade, I really, really like that. This is the Floss Gloss. I do like this as well. You know what I'm like with glosses. This Bella Pierre lipstick. It's Kiss Proof Lip Cream. Normally with creams, they're like more like creamy, but uh, this is just really dry, so I'm getting rid of this. This is the Anastasia Gloss. I'm keeping this. This is really, really nice. These three I'm keeping. These are really, really nice as well. Revlon lip colours are amazing. These are the Colourburst Matte Balms, 
and as you can see they're just kind of drawn lipsticks really really like these this is the AOA um, liquid lipstick again this is a bit drying so I'm gonna get rid of this and lastly is the sleep lip dose soft matte lip click and I don't like this so I'm gonna get rid of it and look how sad that looks now all the empty space these are all my Colourpop um, lippy sticks I'm keeping all of these you can't fight me on that these are staying so this little part is all my kind of um, liners so let's just go through this this is the Ardell Brow Liberty I love this so much look how can you see how skinny that is this is like so skinny it's like a tiny little pencil look at that love that okay that's staying these can go these chubby ones these are the Ellen Tracy uh, eye crayons literally never ever reach for these so they can these can go this is the revolution what is this this is the renaissance flick liner this can stay i haven't really played around with it that much so i'm gonna give that more of a go this emco beauty again i don't like it it's an eyeliner but it's like see it's it, you really need to press on for it to actually work so I'm gonna get rid of that this Max Factor Cole white pencil this is really really good this is like boom is that staying I have two lip liners from Saint Lux these are quite drying but I do quite like them so these are staying this, I think, is one of my all-time favourite black eyeliners. This is the Ardell Gel Eyeliner. This. Like, look at that. That's so good. That was barely any pressure, so that's staying. This can go... I don't even know what brand this is. Everything's just wiped off it, but it is no competition to that, so this is going. This can go... This is the Revolution Eyebrow Pencil. This isn't even in my shade. And it's just, I don't know, I hate these like really thick ones, you know what I mean? I prefer the really, really tiny, tiny ended ones. So this can go. These Steeler ones can also go. Um, if I want a yellow... Oh, that's actually really pretty though. Okay, I'm going to keep the yellow one. I only bought this because I didn't think it was like an a ink liner, but it is an ink liner, so I'm going to get rid of this. A sleek liner I forgot I had this so I'm gonna give this more of a chance it doesn't look the most pigmented but I'll give it a go two NYX colored liners I'm gonna keep these these are good for art um, the black version of this is actually my all-time favorite eyeliner um, but I've run out of it and I can't exactly go get another one so these are staying this is like a brownie nude liner I never really reach for this anymore so that can go this Ciate liquid eyeliner, this is really good, so this is staying. I have a Huda Beauty lip contour, um, that's really, really nice too. That can stay. I have this collection white eyeliner, but I already have that other Max Factor one, so this can go. So this is another Max Factor pencil, this is more of a nudie colour, this is really, really nice, this can stay. So can the Revlon Colour Stay lip liner, This is. these are really, really nice too. They just kind of slide up and then you can wind it back down again this blue revolution pro eyeliner this can stay because i i do quite like this and so can this sleek life proof liner in gold it's just this one i don't know if you can see it this color here that can stay too so this is what we've got rid of so far and let's keep going these are my mascaras so I really really like this this is the black magic mascara so I'm gonna keep this this is the sleek black utopia mascara this is like good for more like subtle lashes so this can stay this is really really old I've actually got a, a newer one so this is the they're real by benefit so the new ones stay in the older ones go in benefit bag girl bank I'm gonna keep this but the pure volume vixen this can go as well okay this is what we've got and we're gonna make our way into the drawers now so 
Okay, I am in my onesie, so deal with it, you know, but we're gonna start here. These are my foundations. So I've got, so I have two Maybelline Superstay foundations. This is my favorite foundation from the drugstore. You see this is almost empty and this is my replacement. Keeping these. This, I hate, hate this foundation so much. The model's own runway foundation. It's just so thick. I don't even know if I can show you how thick this is. It's just like, do you see that? I don't know if you can see it. It's just so like, paint-like. Uh, no. This is the Wet n Wild foundation in the shade Nude Ivory, like this, so I'm gonna keep it. And this is the Cover Effects foundation in N20, and I like this as well. So these are my concealers. I do like all of these. So I've got the Revolution Concealer Define Infinite. I'm going to keep that. It just tucks away really nicely. I've got the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in Marshmallow. That's staying. The L'Oreal Infallible More Than a Concealer. This is really good too. And the Classic Revolution Concealer Define. Oh, birth control. Might need them. <laughs> And I just have a Calvin Klein fragrance that kind of pushes them all together. So back here are my primers. Let's go through these. This is the Revolution kind of stick primer. I've almost run out of it and it's really old, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is the Avant primer. I really, really like this one, so that's staying. The Benefit Professional. Classic. Love it. This can join its foundation, the model zone, face base, hate it, no. Nope. The pure correcting primer, this is really good, keeping that. The figs and rogue, I think it's called, glow elixir, this is really really nice, it gives a nice sheen to the face. The NYX honeydew makeup primer, again, love it. And the MAC prep and prime, mini, <laughs> I'm gonna keep this too. So here we've just got some like lip balm and like backups of like moisturizers and stuff. I'm gonna keep all the, oh, apart from this little Vaseline pot, it's very old, as you can tell. Um, yeah, that's going. So this is my little um, eyebrow section. This, so this is the AOA Sculpting Brow Pencil. And again, like I said, it's like really thick. The tip is really thick, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This, however, is the AOA Brow Gel. This is really, really nice. Really good. I like that. And this is the Makeup Revolution little pot brow pomade. Keeping that. So this hiding at the back is the Rose Dewy Glow Mist from the Body Shop. I'm gonna get rid of this. I've lost the lid and the spray is just really concentrated and I don't really like it. But I do have the NYX Dewy Finish um, spray, which I like, it's almost run out. And this, I actually really like too. This is the Candy Cosmetics Glow Up Mist. This is really nice. And here I have a lot of beauty blenders. I am a working makeup artist, so these all do come in handy. And now, right at the back here, I've just moved you on a bit, same drawer. Uh, these are my lashes, so I've got the Isla Vegas Nay Lashes. The, I don't really use these two, but the one at the top is actually in my lash case. These, okay, I have to rant about these for a minute. Well, not rant, but these were 90p from Wish, and they're amazing lashes. So I just got them to see how like bad they were going to be, but they're actually amazing. So this is the Ardell Glamour Variety Pack. They used to be my beloved Ardell Wispies, but they got ruined because I cried with them on and they're just not wearable anymore. <laughs> and these are so good. These are the Sexy Sheep Lashes. I got these on Depop. They were like £7 for all of these, so check them out. Okay, so with the first draw done, we are getting rid of all of these so far, so we're making very good progress. Time for the second draw. Okay, so this is all my kind of face stuff. Um, I don't even know where to start. Let's start like here. So, first I have the Maybelline Holographic Highlighter. This is quite nice. Um, 
It's not the most like amazing, but I do quite like that. This I will fight you over. This is the Ofra glazed donut. Amazing, so pretty, I'm keeping that. This, surprisingly, Makeup Revolution have amazing highlighters. This is the Sculpt and Glow by Revolution Pro. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but I am kind of hitting pan very slowly, so that's staying. This is the Sleek, what is this? Face Form Contouring and, and Blush Palette. This is what it looks like inside. Used it quite a lot, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, these two can go. These are sleek highlighting palettes. These are just way too dark for me. Ooh. So that's the first one. I've got these in a glossy box. None of these shades work for me. And it's the same for this one. Again, too dark for me, so. No point keeping them. These, same pro this is the same product. Um, the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter in Ice. So as you can see in this one, I have hit pan on the middle shade. Um, and I just kind of bought another one for a backup. So this I'm actually going to get rid of. This is the Laritzi, is that how you say it? Glow Pot. Oh, Dew Pot, sorry. Um, I just, I never get any use out of it. It's too bright, it's too dark to wear as a highlighter. It's just not good as a cream blush. I don't really like cream products, so that can go. This, however, is the Benefit High Beam. I do quite like this on rare occasions. And this is a mini of the Max Strobe Cream. I still need to give this a go. So my powders I'm keeping. This is the Essence All About Matte. You can see I've hit pan on that. I've used it a lot. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in Translucent. Again, used it a lot. I'm gonna need a new one. And the Fit Me, I haven't hit pan on this one, but I'm very close to. Woo! And this is in the shade 125. This is amazing. This is the AOA Perfect Blush. It's very, very bright, so you need to use a light hand, but this was one pound. And it's so good. I, I love using this. This is the Essence Matte Touch Blush. Really like this one. And of course, the, and of course, Luminoso. I'm keeping that by Milani. This right at the back, I touched this like once. This is the NYX Strobe of Genius palette. This is very similar to the Soph palette, which I have back here, so this can go. This is the Anastasia Aurora palette. So pretty, I'm gonna keep this. This is actually in my kit, uh, one of the highlight palettes I use in my kit. This is the Violet Voss Pro palette. Really, really like this. Okay, this, does anyone actually know what this is? Um, the Selfie Powders from Too Faced. I have never used these, don't know what they are. This can go. So as I said before, I have the Soph Highlighting Palette. This is a classic. I need to reach for this more because it's so good. I have the Dr. Pawpaw, um, what is it called? Multi-Purpose Soothing Balm. I use this as a cream blush. This is really nice. This is the only like cream blush product that I like using, so. This, again, I haven't reached for this in so long and I need to. The Tarina Tarantino blush kit. This is really, really lovely. I need to reach for it more. This was one of my favourite bronzers for a long time. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. Really beautiful. That's the shade Tawny, so I'm going to keep that. Of course, Cody S Bond Loose Powder, keeping. I actually have two Hula bronzers because I love it so much. And this is the one I'm using, and this is the new one. So you can see this has been used quite a bit. I've started using this quite a bit as well. I never used to reach for this. This is the Nip and Fab Liquid Gold in Always Champagne. Again, it's a liquid product. Never thought I'd use liquid products, but here we go. This I'm actually getting rid of. This is the May Banana Powder. This just leaves yellow on my face and I really don't like it, so that can go. 
And the last two things in here are the Ofra bronzer and the Pure bronzer. These are very, very similar. These both have really, like, sh these both have a really nice sheen to them. I don't even know if you can see, but really, really shimmery, but in a nice way. So these are both kind of summer bronzers. Okay, next drawer. Ah, here we go. This is the, the bad boy of my collection. This is my eyeshadow drawer. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start with this. This is the Bourjois Less Smoky palette. Never ever reach for this. This is an all shimmer palette, which I really don't like, so that can go. These three little Ellen Tracy single shadows, these I never ever reach for. These can go too. Um, I have this Revlon Photo Ready little kit. I remember buying this years ago, so I think this was one of my first makeup palette things, so this can go. I have this Wildlife palette by Barry Ann. This is really, really beautiful. It's either 10 or 20% of the profits go to saving tigers, so this is really, really good. This is the Nip and Fab palette. I really, I'd never ever reach for this, so this can go. The Jeffree Star Mini Breaker palette. This is really, really beautiful, keeping that. This can go, this is the MUA uh, Burning Embers palette. This again was one of my first ever palettes. It's got a lot of love over the years, but it's very old and I never reach for it now. Okay, we finished our first box. So onto the second. This is the Violet Voss Nicole Concilio palette. This is so nice, really, really lovely keeping that. This little style palette I got in a glossy box and I never ever reach for it. Pinks are not my colours, so I'm going to get rid of this. These are all my Colourpop palettes, of course. I'm keeping all of these. These are my little babies, so 100% staying. So I'm going to kind of tackle this row now. This is a sleek palette with all kind of cool tones. I never ever ever wear cool tones, so this can go. This is the original Soph palette. You can tell I've used it a lot because the whole lid comes off. I need to use this more actually. This is really really nice, so I'm going to keep this. These are some Anastasia single shadows. I really like these, so these are staying. The Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Again, I never ever reach for this, but I need to. Um, I am kind of boycotting Too Faced, so I think that's one of the reasons that I'm a bit, you know, don't really want to reach for it, but I have it, and it'd be a waste of money to just get rid of it. So these are my three Anastasia palettes. I've got the Alyssa Edwards palette, I've got the Modern Renaissance, and the Subculture. These are all amazing. I really, really love these. This is the Bella Pierre palette. I never ever reach for it. It's really pretty, but I just, I have everything in here in my Violet Voss palette, so getting rid of this. And the Cargo Wonderlust palette, this can go as well. Never ever reach for this. This little thing is the NYX Ultimate Edit Brights palette. This is really, really good for like really obviously bright looks, uh, so I'm going to keep this tucked away at the back here we have my Juvia's Place palette so I have the Zulu I actually wore this today so it's really really pretty I love Juvia's Place so much this is the Saharan 2 really pretty again and the Warrior palette I am actually trying to hit pan on this shade I don't know if you can see how much I've used it but I've used it quite a bit. <laughs> so we've just picked up some from here. This is actually really amazing. This is the Technique, what is it? Pressed Pigment Palette. It's so good, so pigmented, and it's got some glitters and look at these shimmers. Just like, I don't know which one to go for. Let's go for this one. Like, look at that. That's amazing. So definitely keeping this one. These two can go, this is the Revolution, what is this, Reloaded Iconic Vitality palette. 
This is an exact dupe for the Modern Renaissance and I already have that palette so this can go. And the Be Passionate About palette by Makeup Obsession. I saw this for sale for £3 and I was like, it's £3, I have to buy it. No, I'm never going to use it. And so this can go. This is the Mega Big Boy by Revolution. It's not its actual name. It's Max Reloaded palette. I am tempted to keep this for like just playing around and mapping out looks before I actually use like a good palette. So that's why I keep this one. <laughs> now this one, oh, I remember wanting this for so long. This is the Hotspot palette by Morphe. And I think I'm actually going to get rid of it because... I'll move that. I think I'm actually going to get rid of it because I have the Blue Moon palette by Colourpop. And I have all these red shades. This is actually... Oh, this is such a pretty shade though. Look at that. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to play around with this a bit more and then make my final decision. So here we have the big boys. <laughs> this is the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Conspiracy palette. Of course I'm keeping this will not part with that ever and this is the Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette oh no it's been dented <gasps> the Game of Thrones palette I love Game of Thrones so much so definitely keeping this I never actually use it it's more of like a look at this kind of item but I really love it still so that's my eyeshadows done and time for the final draw down here so these are kind of the forgotten parts of my collection so I can guarantee I'll be getting rid of quite a lot from here. Let's start with this little drawer here. So this is where I put all the lipsticks that couldn't fit on my like top little drawer thing so maybe I can put some in now. Um, let's start with these Anastasia liquid lipsticks. Okay these Anastasia liquid lipsticks they're all way too dry for me and I think they've gone off and I just can't wear these anymore. Which is a shame. This, oh, this is such a shame. This is a Essence Velvet Matte Lipstick. This is so pretty, but, um, yeah, it's broken. So that's going to have to go. This I will never, ever, ever get rid of. The Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Fussy. Really, really beautiful, keeping that. So these Anastasia stick, like bullet lipsticks are the same. I think these have actually expired because they're just, I don't know. I never reach for them anymore and the quality's just declined a lot, I feel like. I have all these colors in my like ColourPop collection, so these can all go too. They were the shades Stevie, Cotton Candy and Latte. This Huda Beauty lip strobe is just too much for me, I think. It's too stroby. I mean, I'm gonna give it, a, I might give it another go, but I'm gonna get rid of it for now. Model Company Liquid Lipstick, um, Lip Cream Matte. I picked it up because it said cream. Um, it's too dry. <laughs> We're having a theme here because this is also too dry. Ooh. Hello. The NYX Lingerie in Corset. Don't like it, too dry. This AOA lip gloss, this just doesn't really have any kick to it. As you saw, I have so many lip glosses and this just doesn't compare. Uh, the Steeler, what is this? Mon Ami Lipstick. This does that thing where it leaves like a, a weird white thing around your lips, you know what I mean? On your inner lip line. It just, I don't like it. Nope. Paid a lot for it as well. And finally, this is the model's own lipstick. Look how bright that is. That is so beautiful. I'm keeping that 100%. That's in the shade Pink Cosmo. Beautiful. So we literally only kept two out of that entire basket. This is my kind of paints, glitters kind of thing. So straight away, I know I can get rid of this. This is the NYX Liquid Crystal. This just doesn't have anything to it. It's just, look. Where is it? Can you see it? No, <laughs> it can go. This, I really love this. This is the collection Gra Gram? Glam Crystals. This is the silver shade. This is so beautiful. Like, look at that. Really lovely. Keeping that. 
This, I love using this in the um, inner corner. This is the L'Oreal uh, 403 Diamonds Lit Eye Paint. So my camera just died, which is Brill, so I'm going to speed run all of these. So these, all of my like liquid eyeshadows. So I've got um, a Barry M one, a Collection one, and a Bella Pierre one. I never ever reach for these, so these can go. I have my um, glue for my glitter, so this can definitely stay. I have a blue version of the Glam Crystals, which I love. I just never really reach for the blue one. I always reach for the silver one, so I need to reach for this more. I have a Technique Blue um, Pro Pigment and a Technique Loose Glitter, so these can both stay. I haven't really worked with these yet, but I'm excited to. I have two Sleek Glitters. I really want to use this, but I just never find an occasion to. Um, and the gold one as well. Need to reach for these more. I think I'm going to keep all my glitters to be honest. I have Pagan from KB Rose and I also have um, Ethereal and I also have, what is this, Eerie? I don't know how to say that but this kind of bluey one as well. And I have this kind of unmarked gold glitter, which, you know, I don't know what brand this is, it's just a gold glitter. And the Steve Laurent kind of, it's not gold, it's like a, a rusty kind of colour, so I like this as well. And last but not least, uh, I'm definitely keeping all of my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I've got all the colourful ones and I use these for eyeliners and for like base pigment when I do a really colourful eye look so I really really like these ones too. So all together we got rid of this big bucket full of makeup and also kind of half a bucket here. Really really good in my opinion. I threw out a lot, well not threw out, all these will be kind of sent to good homes, given to friends and family. If it is really old it will go in the bin but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, that's my video. Have a good day and oh look at my hand. And I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye guys!